What does it look for Israel and also for the Gaza Strip? Look at this map that we have prepared for you. This is where the Middle East area is. This is Israel. You see this red strip? This is the Gaza Strip. Now, of course, it looks uh, very small here on the map. It's about 365 square kilometers. But this strip is right across to the sea where Israel is currently charging at Hamas. You see that the warship also in the Mediterranean Sea has been brought in by the United States of America. But this is just one border. There is Lebanon. There is Syria. This is why this is important. Because it is Hezbollah in Lebanon, backed by Iran, known to be backed by Iran very clearly, is also opening up that northern Israel frontier. And that's why residents of northern Israel are being told to take care of uh, themselves and to duck for cover with sirens. This is where the Hamas extremists currently rule. They don't rule the West Bank. They rule Gaza Strip. This is where they had come. This is the southern Israel area. This is where they had come charging and massacred children, have taken women, elderly, and toddlers also captive. It's six days at least of the hostage crisis that's currently on. And this is when weapons are being brought in, tanks are being mobilized by Israel toward the border of the Gaza Strip, airstrikes that are taking place. So this is what the situation looks like and is likely to de-escalate if Lebanon, Syria also open up the frontiers against Israel. So many are asking that uh, Israel has had such a sophisticated defense mechanism. It was actually known across the world of how it kept its citizens safe against these attacks. Amid all of this, remember, all sorts of claims that are coming in as well. And that Palestine has said that after Israel started to bomb Gaza, people are living in great suffering. There are tremendous attacks that are being made also on the civilians while Israel is claiming that they are just targeting the terror hideouts. Listen in now to a perspective from Gaza, from Palestine, about the bombing that's taking place. Horrific against our civilian population. The destruction is beyond imagination. The, a number of countries. There has to be uh, a humanitarian intervention in order to, uh, to avoid uh, a looming catastrophe and humanitarian massive crisis in the Gaza Strip. We hope very soon that the international community led by the SG, led by the Security Council, will rise up to, the, uh, to their responsibilities and begin with the process of sending humanitarian help and assistance to uh, the Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip. India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening when that are politics. Koi dud ke se dula hua nahi hai. Unmatched eye. Unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's 100% news that matters. It's News Today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9pm. Only on India Today TV.